I'm going to do lesson two from your science book, The Human Body. The human body is made up of millions of cells. A cell is the smallest unit in the human body. Many cells make a tissue. Many different tissues together form an organ. Certain organs together form a system. And each system performs a different function. Now when we talk about organs, we say either they're internal organs or they're external organs. What do we mean by this? External, which means it, they can be seen. Eyes, nose, ears and skin. Internal, these cannot be seen. Brain, lungs, heart, stomach and liver. Now some of these are very delicate and they're protected by bones. Internal organs, the first internal organ we discuss is the brain, which is very important. It is protected by the skull. It helps us to think and it controls all the different parts of the body. Heart. Heart is on the left side of the chest cavity. The function, it pumps blood to the various organs. Blood is carried through blood vessels. Now let's take up the system, the digestive system. Which organs? Mouth, food pipe, small intestine, large intestine. These organs break down the food into simpler substances which we can use. Kidneys. Two bean-shaped kidneys are present inside the abdomen. What is their function? They filter blood and remove wastes from it. These wastes are removed as urine. Liver. Liver is the largest gland in the body. It performs three important functions. First, it produces bile which helps in digestion. It cleans our blood and it stores energy as glycogen. Bones, 206 in the body. They give shape to our body. They protect the soft organs like the skull protects the brain. The rib cage protects the heart. Now the next system we discuss is the respiratory system which helps us to breathe. The nose Windpipe and lungs form the respiratory system. When we breathe in, it's called inhalation. When we breathe out, it is called exhalation. The air from the nose passes through the windpipe and reaches the lungs. Now what happens in the lungs? The lungs absorb oxygen from the inhaled air and they remove carbon dioxide from the exhaled air. Deep breathing, uses of deep breathing. Deep breathing helps in getting rid of harmful toxins. What are toxins? These are substances produced by bacteria and plants and animals and they're very poisonous. Deep breathing helps to reduce anxiety and stress. It helps in relaxing the body and mind. Air pollution. It's a big challenge today. Harmful and undesirable substances are added to the air and we call this air pollution. Now, what are some of the causes of air pollution? Smoke from factories and industries, harmful gases and chemicals released from vehicles, smoke released by burning garbage, rubber tires, crackers, wood. What are the harmful effects of air pollution? Air pollution leads to diseases like asthma and lung, cancer. It can cause coughing, dizziness, watering of eyes and irritation in throat and nose. It can harm plants, crops, monuments and buildings. Excessive air pollution can cause changes in the climatic conditions. To, now to reduce air pollution, what do we do? We must take care of plants and trees. Plants help us to get oxygen. So we must plant more trees, dispose garbage in a responsible manner, Get vehicles checked regularly. So now that interesting lesson, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it.